All new at five, a single mom nearly catfished by an imposter now actually dating the man in the photograph. The Palm Beach County woman and her boyfriend called News 6 to expose the scheme that is being played out with his picture. It's actually happening across the globe. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld has this story. You'll see it only on News 6. All of a sudden, it was really starting to become like really heavy, you know, I love you, I want to marry you. She says it went from light conversation to romantic sweet talk in just about a week. I immediately knew something was wrong. Nicole Hayden tells News 6 her Instagram suitor used a stolen photograph and called himself Marcus, a marine engineer who openly admitted, I'm not for everyone, but I'm okay with that. I basically cut off the conversation. What happened? These texts show Marcus went from romantic to gangster after Nicole blocked him on Instagram. They found me on WhatsApp about a month later. He was threatening to post a photoshopped nude photograph of Nicole unless she paid him $6,500. And started threatening me and threatening, you know, that they were going to find me and they were going to find my kids. She never relented, but then... A couple weeks later, Alex showed up as a suggested user. The man in the very photographs used by the imposters popped up as a suggested user on Nicole's Instagram account. When I started messaging with Alex and he said, to, can we video chat? I was like, okay, this guy's making sure that I'm actually not a catfisher. My name is uh, Alessandro Cinquini. And uh, I'm a 27-year-old guy. I was born in Italy and recently moved to Miami. Alessandro Sinquini, a.k.a. Alex the Officer, is a longtime employee of Carnival Cruise Lines. And according to women from the U.S. to Peru, a face used by hundreds of social media dating imposters worldwide. So Nicole was the first person that I was able to meet through, you know, a uh, catfishing story. In a Hollywood-esque storyline, Alessandro and Nicole actually connected on Instagram and have been dating since January. I don't know, there was like just this attraction, like you, you're just drawn to somebody. The couple tells News 6 they're going public to warn women his photograph is just one being used in romance plots that have nothing to do with love. The main goal is to make money out of them. We're talking about thousands of dollars. You have to trust your gut and listen to those red flags and don't send anybody money because anybody can hide behind the screen. Stolen photographs have become the trademark of these romance imposters. Think about it. If you haven't heard the voice, if you haven't seen the face, it has nothing to do with love and all about your money. Protect yourself. Mike Hofeld, Getting Results, News 6. And I can see why they're using his pictures. Go on. Why? Why is that, Just Lisa saying. Bell? You're trying to get someone's attention. It's <laughs> one way to do that. You better be careful, mm -hmm. young lady. Uh, I feel like we just watched the next Sleepless in Seattle. Mm. How did that? How does that happen? The guy you're being catfished with—that is a crazy story. Now you're—that's yes, yes. that's an amazing ending yeah. to the story there.